Hi, Kipsters, and welcome to a first grade read aloud lesson with Miss Slutwack. Today, we're going to continue Owl at Home, which, as I said last time, is one of my favorite books. Today, we're going to read chapter two and learn about another one of Owl's adventures at home. Today, though, we're not focused on answering questions. Instead, we're really going to be listening to the words. And what we're listening to today is words that tell us about the senses. Hmm. I want us to think for a minute. What are the five senses? What are the five senses? Think you've got some of them? All right, I'm going to name them and see how many you got. The five senses are what I see with my eyes, what I hear with my ears, what I smell with my nose, what I taste with my tongue, and what I feel with my hands. So when we're reading a book, good readers pay attention to words that give us clues to what something might look like or sound like or smell like or taste like or feel like. And there are so many clues in the words and the pictures. And when we hear those clues, we form a picture in our mind that gives us more details about the text. So today, your listening goal is listening for those words that create that picture in your mind that makes you think about those five senses and what your what the characters and what the text might look, smell, sound, taste, or feel like. Okay, Kipsters, put those thinking caps back on. Your entire job right now is just to listen to me read the second chapter of Owl at Home. And then we'll go back and find some of those words that gave us those sense clues. Okay, chapter two, strange bumps. Owl was in bed. It is time to blow out the candle and go to sleep, he said with a yawn. Then Owl saw two bumps under his blanket at the bottom of his bed. What can those strange bumps be? asked Owl. Owl lifted up the blanket. He looked down into the bed. All he could see was darkness. Owl tried to sleep, but he could not. What if those two strange bumps grow bigger and bigger while I am asleep? said Owl. That would not be pleasant. Owl moved his right foot up and down. The bump on the right moved up and down. One of those bumps is moving, said Owl. Owl moved his left foot up and down. The bump on the left moved up and down. The other bump is moving, cried Owl. Pause. What are the strange bumps? What are the strange bumps? Call it out. I agree. I think the strange bumps are just Owl's feet. But does Owl know that? No, he thinks that there are strange bumps at the bottom of his bed, but really, it's just his feet. Let's keep reading to see how Owl solves this problem. Owl pulled all of the covers off his bed. The bumps were gone. All Owl could see at the bottom of the bed were his own two feet. But now I am cold, said Owl. I will cover myself with the blankets again. As soon as he did, he saw the same two bumps. Those bumps are back, shouted Owl. Bumps, bumps, bumps. I will never sleep tonight. Owl jumped up and down on top of his bed. Where are you? What are you? He cried. With a crash and a bang, the bed came falling down. Owl ran down the stairs. He sat in his chair near the fire. I will let those two strange bumps sit on my bed all by themselves, said Owl. Let them grow as big as they wish. I will sleep right here where I am safe. And that is what he did. The end. Okay, Kipsters, remember our thinking job for today. Our thinking job is finding the clues and the words that make us picture our senses. So what we see hear, smell, taste, or feel. Watch me go back in the text and see if I can find a clue, a word that gives me a clue to one of those five senses. Hmm. 
I'm going to reread this page and I'm going to see if I find a word that gives me a clue and makes me form a picture in my mind about any of those five senses. Owl lifted up the blanket. He looked down into the bed. All he could see was darkness. Owl tried to sleep, but he could not. I definitely got a picture in my brain about this page. And the sentence and the words that gave me that big clue were all he could see was darkness. That tells me exactly what the character is seeing with his eyes and what this page of the story looks like, right? It's completely dark. He blew out his candle. He can't see anything. All he's seeing is darkness. I've got a really good picture in my mind now about what the text looks like. Okay, Kipsters, now I'm going to need your help identifying more feeling more feelings words in this book that appeal to our senses. Okay. Um, I'm going to read part of this page. If you hear a word or a phrase that makes you have a picture in your mind about one of your senses, wiggle your fingers at me like this. Okay. But now I am cold, said Owl. I will cover myself with the blankets again. I see some of you wiggling your fingers at me. Some of you are still looking a little confused. Remember, we're looking for words or phrases that have to do with what we see with our eyes, what we hear with our ears, what we smell with our nose, what we taste with our tongue, and what we feel with our hands. I'll read that one more time. If you hear a word or a phrase that makes you think of one of those things, wiggle your fingers at me. But now I am cold, said Owl. I will cover myself with the blankets again. Now I see you wiggling your fingers. All right, I'm going to snap my fingers. I want you to call out that word or phrase that made you picture one of those five senses. Ready? Exactly. Now I am cold. That tells me what Owl is feeling, right? That's one of his five senses. That's what he's feeling all over his body is cold. And then when he covers himself with the blankets again, now I'm picturing, oh, now he's probably warm. That's how he's feeling with his hands and with his body. Really good job, Kipsters. Okay, um, I'm going to read another page. If you hear a word or a phrase that makes you think of one of those senses, remember, sight, sound, smell, taste, feel, I want you to mm, touch your ear. Where are you? What are you? He cried. With a crash and a bang, the bed came falling down. Oh my gosh, I see so many of you touching your ears. Let me read it one more time just in case you missed it. Where are you? What are you? He cried. With a crash and a bang, the bed came falling down. Oh my goodness, so many of you heard a word or a phrase there that made you think of one of the senses. When I snap my fingers, you're going to call out that word or phrase that made you think of one of those senses. Ready? Exactly. Crash and bang. Crash and bang. Okay, now I've got a follow-up question for you, Kipsters. Which of the five senses do those words make you think of? Do those words make you think of sight, sound, smell, taste, touch? Hmm. Crash and a bang. Sight, smell, sound, taste, touch. Call it out in three, two, one. You're right. Sound. Crash and bang tell me exactly what it sounded like when Owl's bed came crashing down. Really nice job, Kipsters. Oh my goodness. Kipsters, we learned so much reading Owl at Home chapter two today. We learned about the five senses and we learned how we can look for clues in the words that help us picture the text and use our five senses by creating this picture in our mind of what the character is feeling, smelling, hearing, seeing, tasting, right? As good readers, we're going to be looking for these clues moving forward in every single text we read because that helps us better understand the book. Nice job, Kipsters. Thank you so much for joining me today and help helping grow your brain. Um, I miss you so much, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.